So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be learning about the justify content and align item properties in the Flexbox space layout system. So in the last videos, we saw how the flex grow and flex shrink property works. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's how, how you're gonna make use of the widths and heights in Flexbox. But what's really important is that once you have um the flex container with you you need to organize the contents of that particular container as well right so as to speak let's say i give this a height of 200 pixel and a border of one pixel solid black so that we can just see what's going on on the screen right so we see right here we have a two pixel margin from all the children here right and what's going on is that we have this empty space now if i remove this height from b tag and if i remove this height from diff tag you're gonna see it spans the whole height of the parent which is cool right um only if you want that so you can actually customize this behavior as well using two properties so the first one is justify content so if i give it a value of center you're gonna see that nothing really happens and the reason why nothing really happens is because justify content actually when you are making use of flexbox in a row row based system that is just you're just you know stacking elements in a row justify content center centers them in the row so for that to see what we have to do is we have to get a get rid of a bunch of elements here actually let me just not get rid of them and let me just go ahead and say flex shrink one to all of them you see what flex shrink did it shrinked it down but more importantly what justify content did now is that it centered them in the parent so if i remove this line you're gonna see it stacks them to the left which is the default browser behavior but if you do justify content center it centers them in the parent itself a line item on the other hand centers them vertically Right, so if I have a line item center, you see that it centers them vertically. So at this point, you have these seven numbers sitting right in the center of this big parent div, which you have, right? So yeah, justify content center, it could take a bunch of more values if you see. So you have start, you also have end, flex end, I guess. Yeah, flex end, you have center, and I guess, yeah, that's that's basically the crux of it. Then there are these first baseline, last baseline. I'm not really sure why they are uh, important, but uh, yeah, you can just, just, just keep them on the back of your mind. So if you have center, there you are. Align items, on the other hand, has a bunch of properties as well. So apart from center, you can have them baseline, which is stick them on the top, right? You can have them you know just flex end which is just like you know sticking them at the bottom flex star is similar to baseline at the top right center is we have already seen and there's another property called a stretch which stretches the element just like that right and if i just do it uh, you know just remove it we have the similar thing so if i just go ahead and move this to flex scroll we're going to get back what we were really looking for right fill the tiffs nice and simple so this is how justify content and align items work so you can use a similar thing to actually center the numbers within the red rectangles as well within the red and blue so how would you do that is you can actually say that every div inside this flexbox is a flexbox container itself because why the hell not now you can say i want everything to be horizontally centered which centers the number horizontally and then finally, I want these items to be aligned um, in the center as well. So there we are. So yeah, that's how you're going to do it. That's the basic, basic use case of justify content and align items. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.